Hello, hello, my lovely year six. We're carrying on with our operation game and this terrible noise. So in part one, we worked on all the artwork for our um, patients and now we're going to work on all the electronics. As well as drawing on our designs, we also cut out and marked where we're going to be putting our buzzer and our light. And it's time to start building. The first thing we're going to have a look at is our buzzer. And you'll notice that the ends of the wires have been stripped off. All the insulation has been stripped off. So you've got some nice bits of wire sticking out there. That's very important. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is the bulb holder. We don't actually need the bulb yet. We just need the holder to look at. So we already decided where we were going to put our buzzer and our bulb and we made holes in there to help us, which we can find now. So we need just to put those in place. So there's our bulb and there's our buzzer. Let's uh, just fold over the edges there of where we're going to put our buzzer. So it's a nice shape. And now we're going to just try and poke it in. And we want it to be snug. We want it to be tight. You might need to cut it a bit wider or wiggle it around a bit. But basically, we need just to get it so it's holding the shape there. There we go. So next, we're going to put in the bulb holder. So we've got the buzzer in and we just sort of screw that where that pencil hole was. If you need to make it a bit bigger, just wiggle your pencil in there again and just wiggle it around until the bulb holder's in place. So now we need to connect all our cavities together and there's two ways of doing this. So the first way and probably the easiest is with tinfoil like I did with this circuit here. Or you might choose to do a different route, which is to use this copper tape. I'll show you how to use the tin foil first. So the first thing we do is we need to shape it. What we do is we lay it on top of all our cavities and we're going to use those cavities to help us. We make sure it's covered. And what we do is we rub the cavities. Can you see what I'm doing there? So I'm getting the shape of the cavities. So when I remove it, I can see where they all those cavities are and I can just cut around roughly I want to leave plenty of space but I can just cut around making sure that we've got all the cavities within that piece of tin foil and when we lay it back on it sort of matches back up and then we can stick this down so I'm going to use some Pritt stick and the first thing I need to do is to actually glue inside those cavities. I want the walls of the holes to have glue on them as well. So I'm just rubbing in some glue onto each of those cavities and it really does help us later. So if you forget this step, it does make it trickier. Then I'm just running the glue around the cavities ready to stick my tin foil on the top. Match it up, lay it down and there we go. So now we've covered up the cavities, we want to turn them back into holes. And we do that slowly by making a little hole with a pencil first and then wiggling it with our finger. And what we're trying to do is to make sure we get some of that tin foil all the way around on that rim. Do you remember where we put the glue? And we can see there that we're getting it all the way through. And we're just making sure that we can stick a little bit of tin foil all the way around on the opening of the cavity there. And that means that when we connect it with our um, tweezers, that is going to be able to sound the buzzer and light the light. And then we carry on. Now, do you see how I was doing it slowly? I'm going to speed up now. So I poke a little hole, wiggle my fingers, and then make sure it's stuck down. Okay, moving on. So our buzzer and our bulb holder are in place. They're not stuck down, but it's time now to actually join them together. So we're going to get the red wire of the buzzer and get the exposed end, the bit of wire there, touching onto the foil. That's making our connection for our circuit. And then also using a little bit of sellotape to stick down the rest of the wire, just to so it's not catching. But so can you see how that's secure? Now we're going to take the bulb holder. Let's have a closer look. There's a bit at the front there that we'll connect to the foil. Then to each side, there's a little bit sticking out. And on this side here, we're going to twist the black wire of the buzzer. We've got to make sure the metal wire is twisted really well onto the metal of the bulb holder. So we've got to really twist that together well loop it round and twist it round and round. That's got to be a good connection, otherwise it won't work. So to further help that join and to insulate it, I'm going to use some of the insulation tape or the electrical tape here and just fold that 
on and stick it down nice and securely there as well. So we've made another connection. There we go. We've got the red wire going into the buzzer and, and the black wire of the buzzer going into the holder. Now we're going to do the join from the bulb holder to the foil. And for this, we need to cut a small piece of the electrical wire just long enough to stretch from the bulb holder to the foil. Now I'm stripping off the ends so that we've got some exposed ends. We're taking off the insulation there and that means that we can connect them. Now I'm twisting it really well round and round because I've got a little tiny hole there at the front to poke it through and twist it round. And again, we need the metal of the wire touching the metal of the bulb holder. And I'm going to put a bit of tape on there when I'm happy with that join, just to keep it secure again. I'm just putting the bulb holder back so I can check that wire stretches over to the foil. So now I'm going to be doing the other side of the bulb holder to where we're going to have the battery. The length of this wire will depend on how far away your bulb holder is to where you're going to put the battery. Mine's about 15 centimetres. So I cut my piece of wire that length and I stripped off the ends, twisted them really well to Together, those wires at the ends, their exposed bits, and I've just threaded it through the little hole at the end of the bulb holder, that last bit, twisted it around, make a really good join. Now, I forget to put on my insulation tape on this time, but I'll go back and do that later. So we've got our buzzer connected to the foil, connected to the bulb holder, bulb holder to the foil, and then we've put in our um, final piece of wire from the bulb holder, for our battery. Let's sort the battery out. So we need three different components, the batteries, the clip and the battery holder. And it's really important to put the batteries right way up. And you'll see inside the battery holder, there's a little diagram that shows you how to do this. There's a little plus sign there. So that means that the plus side of the battery needs to go that way, the little knobbly bit, not the flat bottom. So we're going to push that in place and we push the spring down first with the a negative end of the battery and put that in place so the positives there and then it's the opposite side with this clip so there we go press it down and you can see that the batteries are the right way up there now we're going to add this little clip and we can line it up and we want to line it so that the big bit is with the small bit and the small bit is with the big bit and then it just clicks on there we go so now we've got wires attached and you can see here that the wires have got their exposed ends. Now this is very important that we correct, connect the correct wire. So we're going to put the black wire coming from the battery pack there onto the wire we've got coming from the bulb holder. And we're going to do lots of nice twisting again, really joining that and adding on our bit of uh, insulation tape just to hold it in place. So we've made another good connection to our circuit by adding our battery. There we go, from the bulb to the battery with that black wire. Now the final part we need to add is the tweezers. So I bought a pack of four tweezers from a pound shop for just one pound. What a bargain that was. But if you didn't have metal tweezers, you could make your own out of lolly sticks and some of this copper tape. So I've run the tape all the way along the lolly sticks on both sides and then added the wire at the end. And if you see, it works as a pair of tweezers. OK, I'm going to use these metal ones and now it's time to join the metal tweezers to the red wire of the battery. But we're going to need a nice long piece of that nice connecting wire, probably about the size of all the way across your um, pizza box. And I've got two nice exposed ends again that I use the wire strippers for. And I'm twisting on the end onto my red wire. Of my battery pack like so. And it's really important here to use the electrical insulation tape because to cover that join, but also to make it an extra strong join. So I'm going to check the circuit. I'm doing that by pressing the wire from the battery and the wire from the lamp so everything's connected onto the foil. Now I'm going to stick down my battery pack somewhere along the edge of the box there. I think I'll put this one in the centre 
it doesn't really matter as long as it's not stretching any wires. And I'm just going to use some cellar tape for this. Again, I think this is uh, stronger than the electrical tape. A few pieces of that, and now it's time to add the tweezers. So I've stripped off lots of the insulating wire, and I'm going to twist that around and around my pair of tweezers at the end there. And we're going to get a bit of tape. And we're going to stick that down. Sellotape works best there. And then cover the whole thing up with more of the electrical tape, making a nice join because it's going to be a little bit weak here. Remember, children are going to pull on this and things. So you want to make sure this is a really good join. That's why I've used the tape, sellotape, and then the electrical tape. The last bit we need to do to our circuit here is stick down the exposed wire from the light bulb. Um, holder onto the foil and also what I'm doing is I'm just adding some bits of tape to tape down the wire we don't want bits being easily pulled out so it's just good to have lots of tape oh and I've just remembered there you go that bit I hadn't covered with the uh, insulating tape so this is nice and secure now I'm happy with this and I'm all I need to do now is to add the little light bulb so let's look at our circuit we've got the buzzer joined onto the foil, joined onto the edge of the bulb holder, the bulb holders onto the foil, the bulb holders onto the battery, the battery is onto the tweezers and we use this lovely hole in the pizza box to poke our tweezers through the other side. Let's just fold our box up and we can see what we've got. This is where having two of you is really helpful. There we go. Now we just need to add our bulb, as I said, to the bulb holder, twist that on, and it's time to test. So the buzzer and the light are coming on when I connect the circuit by touching the edges of a cavity with my tweezers. I have done a printout for you to have on your desks to help you with the circuit. So don't worry if you can't remember all the details of this film. So here's one I made using the copper tape instead of the tin foil. Let's have a listen. There you go, touching the sides. And this time my patient's an apple and I'm pulling out disgusting maggots from the holes. Let's have a look inside. So instead of the foil, you can see I've made a circuit using the copper tape. And it's great stuff, this, but it is a little bit fiddly, which is why I said it um, might be a bit too difficult for you to try. I had to line the inside of each of the cavities with the copper tape, and I just used little tiny bits at a time, and then I joined each of the cavities together to make a circuit. I then attached the bulb to the copper tape, stuck down with sellotape as before, as you can see, and I put the red wire of the buzzer onto the copper tape to make my circuit. Very similar. You can see here then I've got the black from my battery going to the light. But the tricky bit was really getting the cavities filled in with the copper. This was a bit tough. I used lots of little tiny pieces of the um, copper tape. And if you want to try it, try it. But this one's the easier one, using the foil. Have fun getting creative and building your circuits, everyone. Bye.